Hi, and welcome to my newest vlog. Today I'll be showing you my stem toy collection and talking a little bit about them. So this first one is called a Slinky Pop Tube. Uh, I got it from Stimtastic. They actually sent it to me for free because it was like a... You could sign up for a giveaway if you were low on income, which I was at the time. I still am, but anyway. It makes a really great popping sound as you extend it and put it back to its normal size. So it's a really fun one, for sure. And there's different colours, of course. This is play sand. It's sand that feels permanently damp. It's not kinetic sand, but it feels pretty cool, so sort of mould it a little bit. Um, I didn't take it out at this point because I didn't want it to go all over the blanket. But um, if you have a nice, clean, smooth surface like a desk, you can chuck it all out and then make stuff with it, like little figures, it stays together quite well. You can't make anything complex, but it's it's pretty good. And yes, yeah, some of it just drops, but that's fine. This is Bouncing Putty. Um, I, it took a while for me to actually prize it out of the box for some reason, so I did it off camera. And it's supposed to, when you put it as a ball, it bounces. This is obviously a tangle. It's the Fuzzy Tangle Junior. It has a fuzzy texture. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like it's not shiny if you can see. So yeah, it feels a bit slightly soft, fuzzy-ish. And it's pretty cool. I have more than one tangle. This one is also a tangle junior, but it has textures. I think it's just called texture. That it's got little bumps on there. If you can see, I tried to get it to focus. So little bumps, and the clear one. It looks like it's got bubbles in it, which is also kind of cool. Which um, you can maybe see a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see there's little bubbles in there. So it looks like trapped bubbles, which is funny. And then it's. It's very fun to touch. This one is the, it's not a junior, it's got, it's a little bit longer than the others and it's covered in a sort of rubbery covering, rubbery substance, so it feels quite soft. It's also got textures on it, tiny little bumps, not as textured as the other one, but it's, um, it's rubbery, so it's just a, a different feel. It's just completely different, but both feel pretty great. These are chew toys. I got one of them from Stimtastic and one of them from Amazon. So this is an owl. You can bend it to play with it. It's got little textured owls on the back. I don't actually use it much because it just doesn't fit my needs. I tend to sort of chew on things like pens, so what would work for me more is something thin. Um, this one is the Chewy Necklace, it's just, I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's just like a shape, and it's bendy, and you can chew on it. This is a boink, it's got a marble trapped inside of it, and you can move it around, it's very basic, but it's pretty fun. So there you go, that's a boink. This one is the popping bean toy, so it's just little beans that you pop out of the pod, but obviously they never actually come out because they're attached, so it's pretty funny, it's like endless popping beans. I couldn't choose the colour, they sent it to you, they picked the colour, um, and I got two yellow ones. This is a plant, which is also a massage ball. I don't actually massage with it, but it's fun. This is a chewable bracelet, again I don't actually use it much, but it's still fun to play with it a little bit and uh, I lent it to a kid once and he enjoyed it more than I did. No explanation needed, that's a spinning top, I use it to spin it on the floor, I can't spin it on here. This is some slime, um, it's just, yeah, slime, slimy, wobbly, 
it feels cold all the time. I'm going to show you a little bit. I'm going to like wiggle it out. And um, I was trying to control the speed of the descent so that it doesn't it doesn't like gloop all over my blanket. But yeah, it's pretty fun. It's just basically slime. There's really not much to add. Just sort of squish it. Play around with it. You can hold it high and then let it trickle through your fingers and it will start it will start doing like a little slime waterfall so yeah it's pretty cool just slightly messy gotta be careful with that don't want to get it like on a blanket because it will get like stuck and get fluff all over it and you can kind of see how it slides yep a brand new one this is the fidget cube. It's technically not the real original fidget cube because um, they haven't actually finished making them yet or something. But it's it's still pretty good. It's fun and you can click it and then this also clicks and it's like a joystick. It doesn't go very far like a real joystick but it's still fun and then this is a little rolling ball and little clicky sounds again and another click like a like if you were turning on the light or something. It's not at all silent though, that click, so you have to you have to be careful where you use it. And then this bit just turns. Spins. Yep. Spinny spin spin. I don't remember what this one is called, but it's a squishy, putty, stress ball, something like that. And it, again, pretty fun. And now, originally, um, I was doing when I was thinking of doing the stimming toy video, I didn't actually have this. Um, it was like last night or like in the day yesterday. I was thinking, oh, I can do a video about my stim toys because I. That's easy to do and I don't have to show my face. And I thought, and then when my weighted blanket arrives, I'll do a video with that inside it. And I don't know if you just heard, but that was my cat. Anyway, and I got home and there was a big box for me and I knew straight away because I picked it up and it was so heavy. So this is my weighted blanket. It's the first one I've ever had. I've never had one before because they're really expensive and I didn't really know about them until recently, until I started learning about autism. So, this is the soft fleecy side and it's got little, these little bumps, which adds texture and it feels really nice. It's quite soft. Um, where's the, there's, there it is, there's the, it's a sensory owl and it was one of the cheapest ones I could find on eBay because they're so expensive and this was one of the cheaper ones and I thought let's go for it I looked at the feedback and it was positive and you can choose your design from quite a few of them so I picked out these owls um, and I think I'll open it up so that you can see it a little better so here it is I can't remember which size I picked um, one of the slightly, one of the slightly larger sizes, but not like a super large one, but oh my goodness. Not a super large one, but I wanted it to be large enough to like fit comfortably over me without necessarily like going all the way, what am I trying to say? Sorry. Without, without it being as tall as me because I, I wasn't going to cover my head, for example, so that would be silly so there my soft side and um i slept with it last night so for the first time and i thought maybe i'll have to remove it you know after a while maybe it will be too heavy or weird and i actually fell asleep with it and when i woke up early in the morning it was still over me I hadn't really moved much, so 
I think that's great because I move quite a lot usually at night and um, it fit it was nice and uh, it wasn't too heavy but it was still nice and heavy I picked one of the because I had read about other autistic people and their blankets and um, I had read about other autistic people who really like you know like really tight tight hugs and they had said that sometimes um, the recommended weight for a weighted blanket is still a bit too light and that people who like really tight hugs or deep pressure especially adults might like to go a little higher on the weight so I did I, I went slightly higher than the recommended which um, I think is like 10% of body weight plus I don't remember plus what well you add a little you add something plus one what one pound I don't really know Anyway, but this is not really like a video about how to pick a weighted blanket anyway, so, but yeah. So, yep, I'm really glad because it's so um, cute and this side is um, slightly rougher. It's not rough, but it's rougher than this side and this side is super soft. So, I had this over my duvet, which is... Uh, Feather, feather duvet. So it's quite light, really, and it's supposed to be a summer duvet, the one I have. And then I had this really soft blanket over it, just in case it got cold. And because I like to have soft things near my face, so because it's longer, I've had made it go behind, and it was going into my neck. If that makes any sense. Anyway. So yep, yeah, so here we go. Stim toys and my weighted blanket. <laughs> 